This video demonstrates the installation process of three-phase high-voltage energy storage inverter. Attention! Electrical equipment can only be installed and maintained by qualified electrical technicians. Please read the user manual before installation and check whether the accessories in the box are complete. The inverter is heavy. Please pay attention to personnel safety during handling and installation. Please install the inverter in a safe location that meets the requirements for easy ventilation and heat dissipation. And avoid direct sunlight. When the inverter is running, there may be risks of high temperature and high voltage. Please install the inverter in a location that is not easily accessible. Appropriate space should be reserved around the installation location of the inverter. Using a level ruler to ensure collimation level after determined the installation position of the back plate. Mark the punch point with a marker. Punch holes with a hammer drill at the marked points. Insert the expansion bolts and the accessories into the four punched holes. Align to the exposed screws and install the back plate in correct place. Fix the back plate onto the wall using washers and nuts provided. Tighten the bolt. Fix the four corners of the back plate in the same way. Back plate installation is complete. Align the inverter with the hooks on the back panel and hang it. Screw the fixing screws included in the package into the fixing holes. Inverter installation completed. Connect the ground wires crimped with OT terminal to the ground point on the side of the inverter. Please use a multimeter to measure the open circuit voltage of the PV strings. Distinguish the positive and negative poles. Ensure the DC voltage is within the allowable range marked on the nameplate of the inverter. Please refer to Soli's demonstration video for making of DC connection cable. When the solar module is exposed to the sun, high voltage will appear on the DC wire. Do not touch the DC wire before connecting the inverter. Please ensure that the open circuit voltage of the photovoltaic string does not exceed the limit of the inverter. The solar modules connected to the same MPPT must have the same specification, the same orientation, and the same inclination. When you hear a click sound, it indicates that the connection is fastened. The AC port has an anti-misconnection design. Please connect it to the inverter after confirmation and tighten the external lock. This product is compatible with the battery modules shown in the table. This installation uses Pillin Force H2 lithium battery. For battery installation, Please refer to the battery manufacturer's instructions to install the battery. Connect one end of the battery power cable to the battery end, and the other end to the bat at the bottom of the inverter. Unscrew the four screws of the protective cover. Unscrew the nut and remove the black cylinder. Connect one end of the BMS cable by passing through the hole and connect it to the BMS at the bottom of the inverter. The other end of the cable to the can port of the battery. In the same way, connect one end of the communication cable to the meter port on the bottom of the inverter. 
The AJ45 connector on the other end of the cable is connected to the RS485 port of the meter. The first position on the meter is connected to the live wire. And the fourth position is connected to the neutral wire. Put the CT on the live wire and place it in the distribution box. Close the communication cable protection cover. Tighten the four screws. And tighten the nuts. If you choose Jinlong Solis Datalagar, please connect it to the COM port at the bottom of the inverter. Connect the antenna to that antenna at the bottom of the inverter. Please visually check first to make sure all cables are connected properly. You can pull the cable lightly to confirm that the cable connection is tight. Close the AC circuit breaker and battery switch. Close the DC switch. If the DC input voltage is greater than the startup voltage of the inverter, the inverter will start up. The commission part needs to be connected to the app commission. The inverter will start normal operation.